moving, pulsating and powerful. The music of John and Ramiro Mendez, Siren Songs, calling attention to an often overlooked West African country, the Cape Verde Islands. With over 150 recorded compositions and 40 plus albums to their credit, the Mendes brothers are one of the leading forces behind the modern arrangement and production of Cape Verdean music. There's a whole uh, range of music from Cape Verde. Uh, we play the musical styles of uh, Coladera uh, to a lot of uh, Foreigners, it would sound like upbeat dance music. Uh, and then we also play bandera, which is a very bluesy, old, traditional uh, music from the, from the, particularly from our island of Fogo. Um, very, uh, very much call and response music. With the influence of uh, yeah, lots of uh, Angolan music, the West Indian music, the, the whole Creole culture, uh, Creole music of this hemisphere, so it's, uh, it's a melange of a lot of different styles. Gaining its independence in 1975, Cape Verde was discovered and colonized by the Portuguese in the 1500s, growing into a critical hub during the Atlantic slave trade. The Mendes Brothers' new album, Gate of Return, is a poignant reminder of their country's dark centuries. Well, the album is, uh, first, is a celebration of the 550th anniversary of Cape Verde. Uh, so, uh, looking at the history of Cape Verde, we decided that we wanted to do an album, or a series of albums, uh, dedicated to the country and in celebration of the triumph of this journey that we have made from free people to captives to uh, forming a hey society uh, to building a nation to making it democratic free uh, um, <laughs> for, you know free for with prosperity for everyone tough economic times during the last decades as a colony and the early years of independence caused an exodus, with many islanders migrating to Europe, the Americas and other African countries. Their urge to flee was so consuming, the number of Cape Verdeans and their descendants living abroad exceeds the population of Cape Verde itself. But as scattered as they are across the world, the Mendes brothers say this music will always be native to true Cape Verdeans. It's in their DNA. It is a music style which was essentially born um, maybe with the birth of Cape Verde. Uh, this is music that was brought by the African captives to the um, uh, to Cape Verde Islands. It's a very slow, three, four odd meter, uh, you know, very, very powerful uh, emotional music. Born in a small village on the island of Fogo, the Mendes brothers emigrated to the United States in 1978. Shortly after their arrival, they formed a band to perform Cape Verdean and Angolan music. And as far as they've traveled, as established on the music scene as they are today, they constantly relive their experiences playing in war-torn Angola, reminding them why the country will always have a special place in their hearts. We spend months and months touring the country, and uh, it stands one of our highest moments, you know, where we played for the troops, for the population, uh, that uh, was living such a, such a not so great, you know, great moments and the difficult moments and to see the music elevate them and make them forget the, the everyday. As humanitarians, the Mendes brothers have worked tirelessly for over two decades in the most remote regions of Africa, promoting peace and reconciliation through their music. We really need to use uh, our, all our means of communication to really reconnect people. Uh, so to us, music is that uh, you know, medium that allows us to, uh, to, uh, to, to bring about that connection. And that's essentially uh, what uh, um, 
infuses us with, uh, you know, with passion to continue to perform. The Mendes brothers have received several awards, both internationally and here in the United States, in recognition of their worldwide efforts in promotion of unity, peace and innovation in the music industry. But their passion runs much, much deeper than merely music. It's a music, it's a message, it's, um, it's a journey, uh, not only to the African Atlantic, African diaspora, but also to the all uh, people on this hemisphere to go to re reconnect culturally, spiritually, uh, and, uh, imp and uh, physically to, to the continent of Africa through uh, the Gator Return. U.S. President Obama has called Cape Verde an African success story because of its thriving economy and democratic government. Others call it one of the world's hidden treasures. But with its economic opportunity and powerful music resonating across the Atlantic, it may not stay a secret much longer.